What's up? I'm Anton and I'm here with another GTA 5 video. Yes! Today I'm going to do a retro patrol using this old 1989 Chevy Caprice and this thing, it's pretty basic. As you can see, it does not have a lot of lights and if that's of course because back then there were no multicolored fancy LED lights. But it does have two rotating beacon lights and it does have two can lights as well. Wow! And that's actually pretty special because most of the old vehicles only had like one rotating beacon light. I'm gonna show you the lights here in a second, but first let's jump inside and check out the interior. And the inside of the car, it's kind of like going dumpster diving. It's full of old useless junk and it doesn't smell good. And that's why we have ourselves an air freshener. You know what, I have to say actually, the model, it looks pretty good inside the car. The hands are on the wheel. There's a lot of stuff here on the dashboard. The one thing that puzzles me is this computer. Because back in 1989, this is what a typical computer looked like and it cost $8,500. So how they managed to put that thing inside this vehicle, well, that's quite the feat. And I mean, it costs quite a lot of money, but that is pretty cool how it does have the computer in here. The windshield is nice and big. Got a beautiful view here out of the windshield. And of course, there's the passenger compartment back there with a the divider. That's where all of our criminals go. Let's get out here and I'm going to show you the lights here. So I'm going to start off with our first stage of our emergency lighting system like that. And that activates the two can lights. And as you can see, they're only going off there in the back, nothing else in the front. Now going to the second stage of ELS, you can see it doesn't really change anything except basically what it does is just changes the patterns on the two can lights. That's all it really does here for this model. And the third stage of ELS, this is the Co3 option. As you can see now, finally, it's starting to come to life a little bit. We got both of the beacons now turning. The front can lights have been activated as well in the blue color there going back and forth. And of course in the back we still have the red lights going off as well. So pretty cool setup like I said. Kind of special because it does have at least somewhat enough lights that you can make it look pretty. And it does come in this awesome purple color which I also like. So let's get out on patrol out here. We'll see what we can find tonight and uh, do our retro patrol. Dispatch 3 Adam 10. Go ahead and show me 1041, and I'll be 10-8. It's gonna be difficult running the plates using that computer, and I think this taxi here is turning on red, if I'm not mistaken. I believe they are. They're like stuck in the middle of the intersection now because of the ambulance coming through, but I think we're gonna go ahead and pull him over. Oh, never mind. Report a DUI on Olympic Freeway. Okay, we got a DUI on Olympic Freeway. We're gonna try to catch up here to the driver. So, what's the best way for me to get on there? He's right on the freeway. I'm gonna try to go around here and do my best to squeeze as many horses out of this car as possible. So we can actually catch up to the monitor. He's a monitor in his expensive car, and I'm here driving my very old Chevy Caprice. And look at that, he is gone already from this spot that I marked. Okay, let's see here, we are trying to, this thing is actually not bad. We're trying to catch up and it's actually not too slow. I think he's getting off on this ramp, I believe. I could be mistaken. No, I think it's this one right here. Okay, here we go. Ooh, watch out, get out of my way, you're moderner. How dare you drive this SUV? Okay, I think it's gonna be, oh, I see him. I got him. I got a visual on this guy. He, it's gonna be him right here. You saw him swerve just a little bit and there he goes again. Yeah, he is all over the road. Okay, let's get him. Oh, he just came into contact. I was gonna say, let's get him to pull off the freeway, but he's hitting all sorts of vehicles. Let's pull him over. See if he even notices me here. Yeah, he is noticing me and he is stopping. Ooh, not the best traffic stop, but you know what? He's been very reckless, so I don't wanna play any games here. I'm gonna go ahead and just do our traffic stop right here. Dispatch. Three Adam 10. We're gonna be 1038 uh, right off US Route 20. And what street is this? Um, not quite sure what street this is. It's not top. Innocence Boulevard. There you go. Innocence Boulevard. And he's running. And he's running. Okay, dispatch. He's taking off on me. We're gonna be 1080 uh, coming back onto US Route 20 here through Innocence Boulevard. 
he is deciding to take off and he is driving extremely recklessly. So this should prove for a very fun pursuit as we get back here onto the interstate. Whoa, SUV trying to get out of the way. Okay, let's see here what he decides to do. He's trying to stay in the right lane for now. We'll see here if maybe we can get authorization to pit him. It's quite a bit of traffic. I don't know if we'll be cleared to pit, but... Oh, yeah, he's pushing. He's pushing his car to the limit, and so am I. Whoa! Almost collided there, and there he goes. Off he goes. I don't even know where he is. Oh, there he is down there. There we go, collided with that vehicle, lost control of the car, and he's attempting to get back onto the interstate, but that is not going to happen. Yeah, he's trying to, he's fleeing from me. He's still fleeing from me in his very broken down vehicle. That thing is completely smashed up. All right, he's trying to get back onto the interstate, and yes, he does successfully get back on. Continuing to smash more vehicles. Dispatch, we're going to need additional units out here to stop this maniac. He is westbound US Route 20. There comes finally modern police cars here as they try to get in front of him and block him off. Let's block him off right there. Oh, he's backing up. He's backing up. It's a, we got him. We got him. We got him boxed in. We got him boxed in. Sir, step out of the vehicle. Step out of the vehicle. I'm going to rip him out. I'm going to rip him out of the car. Get out of the car, man. Get out of the car. You're going to get tased. Oh, I should shot him. I wanted to tase him. I need to tase him. We gotta get tased, man. He's continuing to hit all of our vehicles. Taser deployed. Taser deployed. Suspect is Let's out of the car. Let's sake. take him right out, now. for God's sake. Whoa, officer, watch out. Get on the ground. Get on the ground, man. There you go. Had to yell at him there. Boy, he just went back and forth, back and forth, destroying all of our police vehicles. Uh, dispatch, we're going to be code 4 on that pursued suspect is in custody on US Route 20. Alex Mercer. Alex what are you doing? Do you have anything illegal on you? Yeah, I'm getting a very strong odor of alcohol coming off him. I'm going to go ahead and slow down traffic in this area so they will not hopefully interfere here with our police work. Let's give him a search as this other officer is almost running us down. What What are you... What are you doing? What is he doing? Uh, okay. Well, that was just about the worst way to leave the scene of an accident. All right, let's give him a pad down. See if he has anything illegal there on him. Traffic is backed up. Everybody's freaking out. A Zippo lighter and an I Heart Liberty City t-shirt is what Alex Mercer has. Alex, we're going to do a quick breathalyzer test just to see how much you've had to drink because I can smell it coming off you. Go ahead and blow into this device for me. And it is going to show us that he's been under the influence now. 0.176. There it is. He is double. More than double, actually, the legal limit. What is this? You stupid idiot. Oh, man, the cops just do not know how to drive. All right, let's grab him. Let's move him off to the side before he gets killed here by either the officer or the other people driving about. You, sir, stay right there. I'm going to give him a quick little check here with my dispatch. Dispatch uh, 3, Adam 10, requesting a 1027 check on an Alex Mercer. Let's find out if there's any warrants for his arrest. And that is actually going to come back. No warrants, but an expired license. So on top of that, he's driving with an expired license and drinking at the same time and evading police and recklessly driving. I mean, the rap sheet just goes on and on and on. Can maybe this officer pick him up? Is that going to be too much to ask? Dispatch, can I get this officer to grab my suspect, 1091? No. Where, where is he going? <laughs> oh boy. There he goes, he had to run around. I have no idea if he'll be able to dislodge himself from that median, but I think he's gonna try. Damaging my car in the process, I'm sure. Let's take a look here inside the vehicle. Uh, Alex got 12 grams of methamphetamine in here, lock picking tools, and a note which reads, YouTube sucks. Twitch is a billion times better. All right, well, I guess uh, that's it. That's the end of this video. I am going on Twitch. Bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to grab a plate off this car. <laughs> what do you think? I don't think so. Let's see if there's anything on the back there, although the back of the car is pretty destroyed as well. I uh, can't really see it properly. No, you know what? I'm just going to get this thing towed. We'll get the officers at the station to figure out what's up with the car. If there's anything outstanding for that vehicle. Dispatch uh, 3, Adam 10. I need a 1051 to my 20. 
And uh, I'll be code 4 and uh, 10 8. I guess my car didn't quite... See, that's the beauty of these old vehicles. My car did not get quite damaged in this hole. Like, he was going back and forth, back and forth, and then the officer hit me, and look at that. The good old cars were built really well. Because you can see the amount of damage I took versus the amount of damage on the vehicle. There's like a dent over here on the side. And not really a lot of damage on, on this side. And a little dent in the front. I mean, this thing looks absolutely perfect. It looks fine. Meanwhile, look at this FPIU. All plastic Lego car completely destroyed. That's what you get. Good old American built metal. Wins the day. Alright, we'll be code for 10-8. And back in the Davis area, let's do a quick drive-by here of Grove Street, see what's going down. It somehow feels appropriate to have this car down in this neighborhood. I don't know why, but I wouldn't patrol this downtown, where all the big buildings are. Oh, we're getting a call. Another pursuit. Pursuit. Gunfire reported. Roger that, dispatch. 3 Adam 10 responding code 3. We are in pursuit of armed suspects as traffic loses their mind here on Davis Avenue and Strawberry. We're in pursuit of armed suspects fleeing from police, helicopter en route. Who are these guys? Come on, man. Look at this. He's not even getting out of his way. Maybe I'm in pursuit of this SUV now. He's gone mental. Oh, man. Okay, let's see. I see the helicopter. Let's see where they are. They are in an alley. Oh, I hear shots. And my nose is really itchy. That probably means I'm about to die. I hear lots of shots. Lots of shots being fired. There they are. Whoa! What just happened? The helicopter crashed. The helicopter. They just brought down the helicopter. Dispatch. Three Adam Tenko 1099. Have shots fired at the suspects. Shots fired at the suspects. Get down. Get down. No. Officer down. Officer down. Wow. Just getting back to the scene of this incident, that escalated really quickly and we still have one armed suspect back here that killed me. I guess he took off. Quite a bit of blood over here. Oh, he might have dropped his weapon too or left the weapon behind. Okay, let me turn off my sirens so they're not blaring out here. I should have called for backup, but everything just happened so quick I couldn't quite pull it off in time. Let me collect his gun. I'm just gonna make sure that they are gone from this area or that one guy is gone. Yeah, he took off. He bled out and took off. I don't see him anywhere. Alright, I think we're gonna be clear. We'll get the paramedics to get over here and try to look after two of these suspects, but... Looks like one of them, we're gonna have to put out an APB because one of them is now on the streets. Uh, he dropped a gun, he might have had more weapons, who knows? I mean, at this point, considered armed and dangerous. Uh, dispatch, I need uh, paramedics here on Innocence Boulevard. We're just in an alleyway. Uh, two suspects Attention down, shots Medical fired, one suspect is missing. Paramedics now responding. What are these guys? Injuries. They look like they're Suspense mercenaries. From, uh, I mean, they're Davis dressed in, in, in army from, uh, fatigues, Hospital army clothing, or at least like mercenary clothing. I mean, they're packing weapons. They have this really high-tech advanced car. I mean, way and more high-tech than my old mobile there. And look at that, the hood popped up. <laughs> Other than that, it looks pretty good. I mean, this thing is not taking a heck of a lot of damage, which is excellent. Uh, paramedics just arrived on scene. Uh, looks like actually the fire uh, people are here. The fire uh, chief responding, the first responders. They're gonna try to make their way around. Looks like ambulances coming around as well. I'm gonna see if, uh, you know what, maybe I'll just let them do their job because I'll be getting in the way. They're gonna try to get over here and revive the suspects and there they are. Let's see here if they're able to do anything. I mean, we need some answers. These guys just showed up out of nowhere. We got the call for the armed pursuit. And who knows where they were, what they were doing in this area. I mean, this could be gang related too. Maybe that's just the members of a gang and they just were doing some kind of a raid. I'm sorry there, I'll get out of your way. Maybe they were doing some kind of a raid on other gang members. Who knows? We need Thanks. at least one of them revived so we can ask them some questions. And more importantly, as he falls off the truck. And more importantly, we need to figure out where their buddy is. Do not panic. Do not Help panic. 
Help has arrived as they teleport inside the vehicle. Whoa, what just happened there? Yeah, this is where he bled out. I was in a shootout with him. I guess he bled a little bit. And Too bad there's not like a trail of blood, like a trail of crumbs that we can follow. See, this is where he shot me a bunch of times. Man. Wow. Did not make it. Okay. Well, at least one of them has to make it. Come on. Work harder. They're all dead, aren't they? I know what you miss is starting to get to me. Yep, they're all dead. I mean, I think I shot them in the head, so that would explain why they died. Let me see here if I can maybe search the car as we step on top of all the bodies inside the... Oh, they did revive one. There we go. So he's going to definitely be questioned. Oh, Joey Cross. I'm searching the dead guy. No, no, no. no. I'm sorry. I do not want to search the dead guy. So one of them has been revived. He's going to go down to the hospital. The paramedics will take him there. And then the detectives are going to show up at the hospital and ask him a lot of questions like, uh, who are you? And what are you doing? And where is your friend? Tell me right now. Yeah, that's right. Tell us right now. All right, what's going on with this car? Are you guys going to... Can, can, you, can you release it? Can I search this thing? I'd like to see what's inside the vehicle. I'm going to just search it. As it makes all sorts of weird noises. Oh, sorry, as the paramedic falls out of the car. Uh, a banana. <laughs> okay. Well then. Just a banana. That's all they, they, they have for us. Well, alright. Let's get this thing towed. We'll get the corner to come out. And, oh, there is a plate on it. Okay, let's run the plate first. Uh, dispatch uh, 3, Adam 10, requesting a 1027 check. Marker is 62 Edward X-Ray Young, 824. I'm going to see what that comes back as. Colossus Helbo. Edward X-ray. No flags on the vehicle. No 1099. No 1099. Okay, at least we don't have a name, so that could be a start. Uh, dispatch, I need a 1051 to my location and a 1079 since we have two dead people on scene. So we're going to get a tow truck and the corner. They're going to remove the car, the tow truck people will, and the corner is going to clean up this mess out here if they can of course make it into the alleyway there they come uh right here oh, okay they went the wrong way as always they went the wrong way where are they going i see them on the mini map i have no clue where they are going they're trying to make their way around i think not doing a good job at it are they gonna make their oh i see the flashing lights that means they're close <gasps> where are they oh uh, no epic fail epic fail all right let's help them out because i knew this we're gonna screw them up. They're like, they could not figure out how to get inside here. The tow truck was able to squeeze through, but the corner, not so much. All right, so we're gonna take them here. We're gonna drag them right over here and get them to do their job. There we go. Good luck finding your way out of here, though. <laughs> that's, that's up to you. That's no longer my problem. I got you guys in here. You guys can clean up the mess. And we'll be code 4 and 10-8. And we're back out here on Grove Street. Lots of people out and about, actually. It's past your bedtime. Go to bed. Right? I mean, it's getting dark. Like, what are you guys doing? What's everybody standing around for in little groups? Okay. Here we go. Jamestown Street. Uh, Roger that dispatch. Uh, 3 Adam 10 responding code 2. So we just got a call coming in about a person walking around aimlessly. Please make contact with them. So they're not too far from us. We'll make our way over the railroad tracks. And and where are we going? To our left here. Oh, watch out, car. There we go. Okay. Just like that. Let's see here if we can find them. They're wandering around aimlessly. So we're looking for somebody out of place. Maybe lost. Maybe they're up to no good. Search the area for suspicious activity. So that guy kind of looks maybe he might be suspicious. He's kind of wandering around. I mean, he could just be just out for a walk, but somebody there crossing the street. All right, let's talk to this guy right here. He goes, police, what are you doing here? Oh, that's me. He goes, I'm not doing anything, I promise. Do you have any ID on you? Let's see if he has anything on him. Sir, do you have any ID on you? LSPD, don't move a muscle. Let's see if he Give hands one. us over the ID. Yes, he does. He does have some ID. There we go. Thank you very much. Linda, oh, it's a she. 
I'm sorry, ma'am. Uh, you look like a he to me. I mean, you, you kind of look like a homeless he, but definitely a he. All right, so she is a female, for sure. Okay. Linda, what are you doing out here? Have you been drinking? Uh, dispatch uh, 3, Adam 10. Can I get a 1027 on a Linda Marcelli? Let's see here what Linda has on her file. A license is suspended. Okay, well, she's not driving, so that's okay. She does not have any active warrants for her arrest. Okay, Linda, I'm going to do a quick little... Um, Actually, why don't you turn around for me? Let me pat you down. Okay, I just want to make sure you don't have anything illegal on you. No weapons or any drugs or anything like that as I kind of creepily stand behind her. That's quite the pat down. All right, let's see if she's got anything on her legs. I'll do the other one as well. And here comes our result. She's got a cell phone and a... <laughs> and a vibrator. Bzz. All right. Uh, okay. Lovely. Um, Linda, have you been drinking at all? Let me just do a quick breathalyzer test. Why don't you go ahead and blow into this machine? We got some calls about you wandering around aimlessly here. And some people were concerned about your well-being. Yeah, she's been drinking a little bit. 0 0.051. Okay. Uh, any drugs tonight, Linda? i do another test here. I mean, at this point, you know, if she's just out here maybe doing some Thanks. drinking and kind of walking around, she looks... I mean, she looks homeless, but I'll see if maybe we can get her a cab to go drop her off at home and get her off the streets. That's the least I can do for her. All right, Linda, hang on tight. I'm going to call you a taxi, okay? All right, let's see here if we can get a taxi here for Linda. Hey, man. I need to talk get a taxi to, to come out and pick her up. Linda, you have yourself a good night, okay? Don't be you know wandering around here me. around here aimlessly. Any more cab crap. will come out, come out, pick you up. Shit. And you're good to go. There comes the taxi this right there. Yeah, the town is messed up. I hear you, Linda. I hear you. There comes a cab right here. They're going to pick you up, drive you home. Or run into a bunch of stuff before they even get... What? Okay, what was that? You did not... You could have just made the turn. You didn't have to go onto the sidewalk, you idiot. There you go. She's been picked up by teleporting inside the cab. And we are done. Dispatch uh, 3, Adam 10. Go ahead and show me clear off this call. We are all code 4 here. And I will be 10 8. And that's going to do it for another GTA 5 LSPDFR video. Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, why not? And check out some of the other videos here on the channel. I guarantee it. You will love them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.